All right, welcome back to part two of my new tripod stand. Look at that. You can turn that small tripod into a big one. You can uh, extend the legs down there. You have clips. There's a clip, there's a clip, and there's a clip here on the other side. And then you have another clip, another clip. You got three clips here on the legs here, by the looks of it. So when these legs are contracted together, all you have to do here is open up the clip here, open that up like like so. Whoa. Like that, and then uh your leg is gonna slide out. I'm gonna put it back together like that so it'll stand so open up the clip like bring it bring it out like that and then uh you can move your legs in and out. And up here, there's a, a knob here. If you turn that, you can uh, practically sink and extend this piece right here. That is awesome. Just a little tripod which turns into a big one. That is cool. Now you can move this guy here up and down like that. If you're filming outside, you can move it in that direction, left and right, up and down. And uh, if you open up this guy here, you can uh, you can tilt tilt the camera. There's a little gear and there. When I open that one up, you can see the little, the little teeth there. You can uh, tilt the camera that way as well. See that there are little teeth in there. And those teeth will hold the camera in place when you tighten this guy back up. So we're gonna do a demonstration here on this. If I tighten this guy, the teeth here are coming together. See the teeth? They are pressing against each other. So yeah, you have different types of camera movement here left and right up and down and you have the the tilt like I just showed you you can uh, bring this guy up and down as well just by opening here and closing everything when I open it up you can uh, slide it down Adjust the height on your camera, like that. You can do this with one hand. And slide it all the way up and slide it all the way down and close it right here. Uh, the plastic piece there is sitting on, on a plastic knob here so you can you can turn the whole thing you can practically turn it you can uh, use that guy here to tighten the to tighten that outer ring here on the knob so you can so you don't have to you can't move it so it's it's a uh, it's tight you can't move it so you have to when you want to move the camera for filming you have to open up this guy here but don't open it too much, otherwise that knot down there is going to fall out. So you just want to want to open it so that knot won't fall out. So that you can that you can move it around like that. So if you're buying a tripod, I recommend you guys not to open up that too much because there's a knot underneath there. See if we can uh, 
It's right in there somewhere. There it is. There's your nut. So don't open it too much, otherwise that nut is gonna fall out and then you're practic practically lost. I know that that is uh, some a very bad construction down there. Where that nut is. See that little nut in there? I think they should have closed that hole up with plastic so that the nut won't fall out. I don't like that construction with the nut part in there. That nut can easily fall out and get lost. So yeah. Left and right, up and down like that. And I can tilt that one if I want to have the camera look down on the whatever you're filming at. Awesome. Nice little tripod for, for a tenor on eBay. I'm gonna pause the camera, I'm gonna put the legs back together. It's easy to do. And I like the fact that you can uh, open up this guy here and raise and sink the height of the camera. And we are back to our regular tripod. Just want to show you guys the legs down there. Those clips down here, one, two, and three. You have to open it, open them out that way. Like that. And then you can, when they're all open, you can pull the legs out and turn that tripod into a big one. Uh, when you're extracting, I recommend you start with the top one. Then you start pulling that one. When you pull that one, you have to close the latch here. And then you pull that one out, close the latch, pull that one out and close the latch. And when you're putting it back in, you start with the top one, uh, pull it back up, close the latch, start with that one, push it up, close the latch, and then do this one, push it up and close the latch. So that way you probably won't break it. If you start at the bottom and shove them all up, there is a possibility that they could break or bend or brittle up. So I recommend you guys to start. I always start with the top one here when you're extracting it. Pull it down, close it. Then that one, pull it down and close it. And the last one, pull it down and close it. And when you're going back up, start with this one, then that one, and then that one. Then you're on the safe side. And they just latch, latch in like that, and yeah. Here, that is all plastic. Very hard, tough plastic here. And I like the fact that you can uh, put it on the ground and turn it into into a big one. So if I was doing my puzzle, puzzle here, I would probably have the chair here sitting here, and I would probably put the the tripod somewhere there, and have the cell phone on my tripod and film myself doing the the puzzle here. So yeah, brilliant. And as you guys can see, it has a little, a little lever here. Look at that. There's a lever. It will tell you if you have your camera straight or not. There's a little, little bubble there. Uh, I think we need to go down a little bit. There's a little bubble in the water, look at that. That way you can tell if your camera is straight or crooked. I think we need to go down a little bit. It's not that very accurate because, because of the plastic. That is kind of accurate right there. So that is what you want when you're setting up a camera with a tripod like this, which has a little water lever there. That is brilliant, that's a good idea. I think they came up with that 
is a brilliant idea. Next up would be, I have to check if, the, if I can get the camera in there, shouldn't be a problem. It looks like this one. Let's put them side by side here. Yeah, it's the same one. That came from the from the broken one here. Look at that. Look how, how broken that got. Over the last two or three years, I think I bought it. That's the, the crappy one. I had to add here a, a close peg as a, <laughs> as a leg. Because the other leg came out of there and just got all bent. So I came up with an idea like that to make a leg. But, but those two are pretty much here the same. You can fit a cell phone in there. Yeah, that is just that this one here doesn't have a lever, but this one does. I think if I can uh, get this, the screw or bolt out of there, I can use the top part here for this guy here. So that is what I wanted to show you guys. Part 2 of this video. Thanks for watching. Type in uh, tripod if you want to buy this over on eBay for a tenner. I got it. And it just arrived today. I ordered it two days ago. It came with the regular post. No need to go over to DPD, FedEx or UPS to get them delivered. You can have that delivered with the regular post. So yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. And I can start doing videos again without holding my cell phone in my hand. So yeah, guys. Brilliant. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in another video. Just uh, have a look at the puzzle here to see how I'm getting along here, actually. A couple of sky pieces left here and sky pieces left there. I'm trying to get this here together. So this will probably be coming in with the, with the camera video with a tripod video i mean i don't have to do a separate uh puzzle video so yeah i think uh, i have six parts on the puzzle already so the seventh part is going to be when the sky up there gets done that is going to be part seven then just this is going to be the tripod and the puzzle video together. It's going to be part two of the tripod video, including puzzle update. That is what, what my what my title of the video is going to be. My tri my new tripod video and uh, plus the puzzle update. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys in another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Watch the videos and comment. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.